live at four. Let's look at the store. But before we do it, I want to talk about a strategy that makes a lot of sense to me. And this is a strategy that was implemented by Yuletide Bringer. And in the current version of RTA, I believe this is the best way to go about doing it. And let me be, and I'll explain what this means here in a minute. So tomorrow everything resets for RTA. And my suggestion, what I'm going to be personally doing is I'm going to ignore the weekly milestones altogether. I'm going to go for knockouts and the characters and the daily objectives only. Then on the last day of the week, I'm going to look at my weekly objectives because really you don't need to do these weeklies that much because if you look at the entire month, the entire month I'm getting to 100 in the battle pass, right? There's 25,000 points are required, but if you max out every single objective, there's actually something like 41,000 or something like that. And like for me, I probably can finish the entire 100 battle pass in probably like 16 days if I wanted to, probably 15, 16 days, but why? So the strategy that, that Yuletide Bringer is doing and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to do just the dailies, which yesterday I timed myself. Just doing the dailies yesterday took me about 20 minutes. Then on the sixth day of the week, your results will look like this. And being that you only need to do like one of these, maybe one, one of these to actually get to the 100, you really don't need to grind for three or four hours to get through these, some of these things. Think about how much easier it is to do to knock this out. I, I, Yuletide Bringer basically said that he was able to get, you know, he spent an extra, he spent 20 minutes a day, 20, 30 minutes a day doing his daily objectives. Then he's going to spend 30 minutes doing this right here and he's done. He'll be at 27 points for the week. That's it. You only need to be at 25 points for the week to get to the 100. So if you want to optimize your time, I believe only doing the dailies in the first five or six days and then on day six and seven start looking at the weekly objectives or if you just have free time and you want to do it go for it there's no there's no real risk to doing it early i mean if you're watching tv and you can do it on autoplay that's fine but this is going to be you know a, a way of min maxing the rta in its current form let's get to offer review no kitty pride today we were expecting kitty pride but no kitty pride today i don't know I have no idea what's going on with that. So let's get into it. Soviet shield orb offer. Okay, so I, I'm just going to skip to the chase. New character release orbs. I value them at $3 a piece. So this has a value of $15. I do think Red Guardian is going to be an important character. Uh, check out the Doom video I put out today. Very interesting. I'm kind of wondering how Red Guardian fits in with Doom. Just saying, what if Red Guardian is a key component uh, to making, you know, with dad bros? I don't know. Just saying, what if that's the, the trick to Doom? I don't know. Anyways, uh, I'm personally trying to get a Red Guardian to five gold stars, and I would consider this offer closer to the end of the event. But for right now, um, this is not a, not an option for me. I mean, if it was like a dollar an orb, I might buy it, but it's this is more than $3 an orb, so I'm not in the market. Do what you gotta do. Um, Red Guardian seems to be a great standalone character overall. Deep Freeze offer again, take a look at the milestones in the milestones tab and see if you're tracking and if you care about the milestones. And if you don't care, then there's no point in buying these, but there's no reason to buy this early. You probably can do this on the last day of the event. If you see the value of buying this offer and finishing off the milestones, that's great. No reason to buy this now, in my opinion. Let's move on. The Deadly Drone offer. Okay. so. All of these offers right here are a function of Jubilee being the next legendary character, which Jubilee is going to unlock at five stars, requiring five five-star PIM tech. That being said, we don't know the kit. We've got a description of the passive and I believe the special, but no, no information on the rest of the kit. We have no idea. Now, if, if, if they, if she was amazing, and they wanted to sell these offers, wouldn't they have released the kit? That's tinfoil hat stuff right there. I don't know. But 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 we don't know. We don't even know what the fifth true member is. It looks like they're gonna this astonishing X-Men is gonna be X-Men. We don't even know what the uh, the, 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 the astonishing X-Men, the fifth member is gonna be Wolverine. I don't think so. I think we don't uh, so I, I'm 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 not sure. We don't have enough information. But 
If you want to get Jubilee and you want to make sure that you get Jubilee, this is a way of doing it. Um, a lot of people are saying that Yellow Jacket is underrated. I personally have not really... I'm not, I haven't fell in love with Yellow Jacket like other people have. Um, again, 50 character shards for $30 is horrific, awful pricing. Plus, this guy is the Battle Pass character. So why not you get a, you know, if you spend the 20 bucks and you max out all the records, rec uh, all the rewards, uh, between the top and the bottom, the free and the paid, is, that's 100 shards. You know, I'm just saying that's a better value than this. Anyways. I don't know. I mean, I don't think this is a good deal unless you 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 want to get Jubilee. That being said, my opinion on legendary characters is this: there's no shame in getting them the second time around. You don't have to. You don't have to buy anything. You know, there's always the second time around. Same exact suggestion. In fact, I'm more excited. I, I don't really. I mean, I don't really care. I mean, these new these new Ghost seems like a great standalone character. Uh, and I'm going to see, I'm going to suggest that Ghost is probably going to find her way into hybrid defense, uh, uh, alliance war teams going forward. And, you know, she's going to, you know, they're going to pull, let's say, Emma Marauders, pull Sabretooth off and put Ghost. I don't know what, I don't, I'm just throwing out an idea. There's probably, Ghost is probably going to fall somewhere. I don't really see the value right now as a standalone character in Stature or Yellow Jacket. Those are, that's my thoughts. I'm not buying these. I'm not really telling anybody to go buy it. Do whatever you got to do. If you really, 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 really want to get Jubilee, there you go. Uh, Bright Persona offer. So this is uh, Electro. I think I called her Shocker yesterday. I don't know. The O in Electro. Oh, I, I know that there's Electra already, but Electro just sounds like a male name. Can't get used to it. Um, no idea where she's going to be. Uh, Fountainable. I like the word fountainable, um, where she's going to be uh, farmable, but I expect that the blog post tomorrow. Uh, so come hang out with us on Twitch tomorrow, uh, two hours before global reset, server reset the blog post, and we'll go over it. Maybe they'll have some information on where she's going to be found. I don't see any reason to buy this. I'm sure there's a lot of people that just unlocked Doc Ock, and they're excited to get that team working. If that's the case, fine, I get it, but... Nah, she's going to be somewhere soon. It seems like we haven't had a raid character in a long time. I wouldn't be surprised if she was put in the raid store. Just guessing. Uh, no re but anyways, Ghost. Ghost has value in Dark Dimension. She's a very good standalone character. Is she better than Minerva? Mm, I don't know about that. Someone asked me, uh, Minerva or over Ghost in Dark Dimension 2? And I was like, oh, Minerva's got the revive. And I know that this is a hot topic for uh, Dark Dimension 4 planning. A lot of people are trying to bypass doing Ghost in Dark Dimension 4 for the global nodes uh, because they'd rather save the pieces for Minerva. Interesting discussion. That might make an entire video, really. A lot of people are asking this question. Uh, I did Ghost, and uh, I'm, I think she's okay outside of Dark Dimension, of course. Uh, I'm also being optimistic and hoping that she's going to be a long-term useful player in future Dark Dimension events. Maybe Dark Dimension 5, you know, ah, that's a stretch, right? Anyways, horrific pricing. Do what you got to do. Anyways, it's a function of Jubilee at this point. Uh, Red Skull Team, we talked about this offer yesterday. Yes, this is relatively good value. What, you've got 180 times 5? Uh, what is that? 900 character shards? I just did the math real quick. I think that's right. It's a lot. Uh, 900 character shards for 50 bucks. My problem with this offer is not the value. It's the total price. Technically, you, and then also the importance of this team. Now that Zemo kind of walks over this team, uh, I don't know. Uh, it used to be that Red Skull was a super annoying defensive war team and you really had to use Inhumans on them. But now it, it seems like uh, Zemo kind of just runs over it. Uh, I don't know if this helps you get the team up and running, and and you're, you know, and this is a cat, you know, fifty dollars is a drop in the bucket for you. Go for it. But uh, I, I have a hard time justifying the cost. But the value is there technically. You know, nine hundred character shards for fifty bucks is reasonable. Premium ISO eight offer. Personally, I'm not in the market for ISO eights. I am in the market for ions. Uh, this is not great pricing, but I have bought this before in the past. Let's move on. Exclusive training offer. 
At best, we value training orbs at $2 a piece, so that's $8 value, plus that's worth another 2 or $3. So that doesn't add up to $20. Let's move on. Premium orb pack. Uh, we've got premium orbs at $1 a piece. This is a kingpin orb, which I do value at $1. Uh, but that is a five orbs, so that is not add up to $10. That's $5 worth of value. Legacy one, I value these at $0.25 cents a piece. $0.25 cents times five orbs is $1.25. Uh, the valuation that I'm giving it is where for a person that does not care about the characters, but they only care about the gold and the purple gear, you know, at 25 cents a piece, it's worth it just for the gold and purple gear. But if you, if you need these characters, these are the legacy characters, uh, then that this, these orbs are quite good for new players, by the way, but for players that have all of these characters already done, uh, the value is not there unless you can buy it at under 25 cents a piece. Let's move on. Endless energy bundle. Only reason to buy this is you're pushing for level 80. This is a normal offer that appears almost twice a week. Let's move on. Uh, gold orb bundle. At best, gold orbs worth two bucks a piece. Blitz orb, ha, huh. 10 cents maybe. And then we've got, uh, you know, some gold. This may basically worth two and a half dollars tops. Not worth five bucks. Let's move on. Orb draft. This is not the orb draft that I like. Premium orbs I value at a dollar a piece. Gold orbs, two bucks a piece. Ability orb, 10 cents tops. Probably nothing actually. Basic orb, sure worth a buck. So I'm not gonna buy this because the ability orb has very low value to me altogether. Uh, let's move on. Uh, pack of shame, no longer a need to buy this because I am a dirty blitzer. In fact, I did my blitz rotation right before this shooting of off review. I also set my timer for two hours because I'm a dirty blitzer. Yeah, that's right. I'm going. I, you know, blitz. I'm. Anyways, no need to buy this if you're blitzing. Plus, you know, right now is a good time to blitz because for a couple of reasons. One, Yelena is a new character. Two, we've got the Red Guardian event. Yeah, it's only two reasons. <laughs> at least you're doubling down on it. Two characters at once in dirty blitzing right now. And right now, if you're ever gonna blitz, now's the time to blitz. So that, you know, it's not for an off character, and there's double. You're doubling down. Anyways, let's move on. I'm expecting pretty high blitz scores on this this blitz, by the way. Uh, we're in the core offers. There's nothing of value down here. My opinion is to spend, uh, you know, 50 cars for campaign energy is a better value than anything down there. Uh, let's go over to the free-to-play account, and we're going to scroll past all of the duplicate offers in searching for offers that were not on my paint main account. Oh, wait a minute. This is great. All right. What is this? Okay, so, no, wait a minute. Hmm, this is, wasn't there a different offer yesterday? I don't know if it's in here where it was for 180 character shards. All right, well, this is a different offer. Oh, let's take a look at this. All right, so you get one orb of each. Okay, for $2. Okay, so what these orbs are, I haven't looked at the contents of the orbs, but I'm pretty sure that the math on these is these are the orbs that give an average of nine and they minimum of six each and a maximum of 180 each is that worth two bucks maybe i think this is mostly just to get because uh, this is coming on disney plus i believe tomorrow uh the new wandavision show i'm going to check that out myself uh i've got disney plus i'll watch it it's kind of going to be different I'll, we'll see how it goes i'll let you know if i hate it or not after i watch it no spoilers if you've already seen it Let's move on. Uh, this is okay, but anyways, what's, uh, there was there was an offer that I liked better than that. Yeah, that's this one right here. Yeah, this is way, 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 way better. That other offer for two bucks is gonna average you like 18 shards. This is three bucks for a guaranteed 180. This is way better. This is way better than the other offer. Uh, this is a exceptional value. The other one is like a, eh, it's, a, it's good, I guess. I guess it's okay. There's nothing wrong with it, right? But this is a good value right here. If you need Vision or Scarlet Witch, both of them are kind of uh, legacy characters at that point. I believe most veteran players have these characters maxed out. But yeah, uh, three bucks for 180 character shards, sure. Um, both of them have... Homes, tech, well, Vision's kind of homeless right now. Vision's been all over the place. Vision's pretty, but Scarlet Witch has a, a good home right now in Supernatural. Maybe they'll be more important in the intermediate future. I don't know. I've not heard any rumors, but let's go. All right, we'll skip over the rest of this. I think we have done it for today. 
Uh, are you guys excited for Kitty Pride? I'm personally going to be targeting her for four red stars. Let me know what you're going to be targeting Kitty Pride for on your red star, uh, red star pulls. And as always, thanks for watching. Keep on giving. Bye. It is not worth buying it for Ultimus Food.